Welcome, right? Welcome everybody to the Experimental Aircraft Channel, kind of a pre-Oshkosh this year. And we're talking to the representative, one of the representatives of uh, Just Aircraft uh, from Stolid Aircraft, and that is Chris Grewan. Welcome, Chris. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Excited about Oshkosh coming up in a week away, roughly. Always, always. So where on the field will you be at um, this year? And give a reference to either along the runway or the tower, because everybody points to the tower. All right, well, we're on, the, of course, the ultralight field, and we should be by um, the north gate, or the, the most north gate out of the runway. Okay. And our booth is generally about three in on that row. And you're really close to that grass runway for the ultralight field, if I remember yes. from last yes. year, if you're in the same place, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so what do, you, what do you bring in this year to showcase uh, Just Aircraft? Well, I think Mike is bringing his plane, and I think we'll probably have that in the booth because it's so pretty. Um, and possibly my plane too in there. And I think Troy might be having his XL done. So there may be one of three options that should be up there to look at. So which models are those? So it's Troy's is in the XL um, with his, his Titan engine. And um, Mike's is a standard Super Stole with a 915 and mine's a standard Super Stole with a 915. Nice, nice. Okay, and the, are these the two most recent 915 installation? I mean, I know yours is. Yes, okay. and Mike's is also. Gotcha. So his is probably the most recent because he just finished his uh, maybe a month or two ago. Okay, and we're speaking of Mike Tiffy, correct? Mike Tiffy, that's right. All right, so Mike Tiffy, if you've watched any any of our previous videos, I've actually interviewed, uh, I think, twice and yep. kind of following his build along. He recently finally got that into the air. And it, he, he did, did an amazing job. It looks it looks really really good. It looks beautiful, absolutely. And I, I see he's been posted on social, been basically flying the wings off that thing ever since. He is. He is. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you guys. Yeah. Um, so what? Uh, just to back up on just aircraft uh, for a second. Um, what are the the different models that Just is currently offering? I know that the Super Stole is probably uh, maybe the most popular behind the Highlander, or maybe actually that. The Highlander and the Super Stole right now are about 50-50. Okay. Um, so it just really depends on what people like as far as their, their you know, their what they're doing with their flights, um, whatever their mission is. Um, okay. But yeah, they're about 50-50 right now. So we have the, the Highlander, the Super Stole, the Super Stole XL, and of course the Escapade too, but that really doesn't, you know, no, not too many people buy that anymore, although it's a great flying airplane. Would that be comparable more to like um, like a Kit Fox four ish or five? Yeah, yeah. In that in that area, okay. Some eighty to one hundred horsepowers. All you yeah. probably would put in something like that. Yeah. All right. And um, what's the big difference between the um, Super Stole and the Super Stole XL? You know, it's just two foot longer in the tail to accommodate bigger motors. Besides that, the wings are the same. Uh, fuselage is all the same, um, and of course, just power plant instead of having. You know, a Rotax 912, 915, you're going to have the Titan 180 horse usually, although we are putting the 915s on the XL as well. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And um, during, going back to Oshkosh for a second, uh, are you going to be, is there going to be like a, a stole showcase again this year? Or are you flying in there? There is. I'm not because I don't even, I don't, I didn't know how to get into it, although Gary is. Um, and I don't know how Gary got into it. It must be some trade secret that they're not letting out, but uh, Gary will be flying in it. Okay. Yeah. His uh, classic uh, white and black. Um... He'll either be in that one or his red one. He has two. So um, we have some new stuff coming out that he'll be showcasing up there, I imagine. So, new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it ought to be good. We have to wait to Osh to find out about that. I huh? think that would be the, yeah, I think that'll be the trade secret. People need to come by the booth and look to see what the new, the new gist is. It should be a, a really good update to the airplane. So, okay. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, is uh, is your, yourself or just are the guys given any um, like forum talks or uh, uh, talks on the kits or just come see you at the booth type thing? Just come see us at the booth. It'll be, you know, me and Billy generally work the booth, Billy Payne, playing fun aircraft. So it'll be me and him that usually work the booth. So awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing you again. Um, obviously, we've, we've visited uh, several times over the past couple of years. Um, and talk just for a second what you're in the middle of doing. I've got some B-roll and some footage of 
a start, which we'll, we'll share later as things go. But uh, tell everybody where you're sitting right now and what your, what your plans are. I am in Linden, Tennessee right now, currently, which is going to be the location of our new build facility um, for reasons that, not that I wanted to do it initially, but I think it's going to be great overall. We uh, have a new 200 acre property up here. We're going to have a massive build facility up here. Um, we did that by push then choice at first, although I'm really glad we made it here. Um, the power company decided to put transmission lines at the end of my runway in South Carolina. So that kind of destroyed our property. Um, so we were kind of forced to relocate, but this facility is going to be a lot better in the end. So we are working feverishly to, to get this back together. So Chris is coming to us, uh, well, not live, live, but for this uh, interview in the middle, literally in the middle of the woods in a cabin. And you're using Starlink, I think, to connect right now, correct? Yes, yes. So again, in the in the future, when Chris progresses, I'm going to kind of capture because he's building a runway, building an airport, essentially. So we're going to we're working together, kind of capture as he progresses through this build, because it's really amazing. I mean, this is the middle of of backcountry national, not national, um, Tennessee area. And just nothing but trees and hills. And um, he, he's got his own little slice of heaven now. He just has yeah. to make it airworthy. <laughs> the actual funny thing is it is when Mike met me at Oshkosh a couple of years ago, I was doing the same thing in South Carolina. We did not even have a building when me and Mike struck our deal. I went home and I had a building up and had him building within 60 days. Wow. So we're going to try to pull off the same thing after Oshkosh this year and have yeah. it ready to go. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it, and I'm I'm happy for you uh, moving along, moving and grooving, and uh, I hope when I get my airplane built that I'll be able to come fly up there directly and land at your spot and and capture some more stuff together. Absolutely, we'll have a better runway here than my place in South Carolina. I'll be a little <laughs> bit more forgiving for other people, so um, not so super stole uh, stole. Th there'll be some, but not on that particular runway. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun here, so we're gonna have a stole course and some other stuff eventually. So. Um, but we'll also have room for traditional airplanes to come in and see us too. So hopefully everybody does. That's going to be amazing. So more on that in the, in the near future, probably, uh, early next year, we'll do a follow-up and, and show the progression of, uh, Chris's construction of an airport. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for jumping on with us for a few minutes today. Tell everybody where you're at on the field and roughly what's going to be there. And we've got some new news coming to, uh, to market here. So all kinds of good things happening with just aircraft and stolen aircraft. That's right. All right. Uh, where can everybody find you in the meantime, Chris, online? Yeah, you can go to stolenaircraft.com or um, anywhere on Facebook, uh, Stolen Aircraft. Um, just Google us. You can find your way to us. Sounds good. All right. We'll see you soon. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Appreciate it. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com For events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more.